Hi, this is Isabel Litzler. Welcome to my channel. So I saw a question uh, that popped up under one of my videos about logistics and whether that was a good path for someone looking for a job in Switzerland. So I want to give you a little bit of information about the Swiss market and what's going on with those jobs, what I call the functional jobs, because I think there's definitely a shift and I want people to be aware of that as much as possible. So in my view, there's really two markets that are going on right now. You have the old market and the new market. And the new market is really becoming more and more uh, important due to the virus. And actually, it made things go faster in this new market. So what is the old market? So the old market is, uh, you know, the jobs that you would find actually when I was uh, starting my career. So I call those the functional jobs. So, you know, in companies, you had your HR person, your finance person, your logistics person. So all these positions that companies needed, multinationals needed, uh, were quite in high demand, I would say, probably last century, you know. And I would say, I tell people probably until 2010. That's really when the shift began. So I would say up until 2010, you know, in multinationals, they needed all these support positions. You had a lot of mid-managers a lot more people also to do the task. You had bigger teams. Uh, I remember when I started my career it was huge, huge team. And even when I came to Switzerland, I remember just in human resources, we were at least 10 people. So, and that was 2007. So the old market is really more about those functional jobs and a lot of manual work still needed to be done. And uh, you had systems, but it was not there yet. Uh, and I was a consultant also at the time. So I worked with multinationals on uh, automation already and, and projects, but it was really the beginning then. So I would say 2000 to 2010 was the beginning, but it was not what it is today. So when you're asking, you know, what are the chances of jobs in finance or logistics or all these positions, I would say this is the market of yesterday. So as it is in each country right now, and it's just, it's not a Swiss problem. It's really in all countries right now, there's going to be less of these jobs. So you already had a shift that started where we were going towards a new world anyways, and we were going towards uh, digitalization of the economy. But I think with the virus, what happened is that it all made things faster. So now all companies had to start finding solutions to have people work from home. So everything just went faster because you had to make it happen. So it actually 10 x everything. So uh, when it would have taken maybe another 10 years, Everything just went so fast within a few months where a lot of jobs were actually affected. You needed less uh, in-person type of touch and more, uh, again, distance type of things. And this is actually enhanced by systems. So when you're uh, bringing digital to your companies, what's happening is that you need less manual labor and everything is done from far away. So for example, when I'm speaking to you right now online, I don't need anything else than the tech that goes with it. I don't need any other people uh, and manual labor. I mean, I have a microphone, I have a camera, so I can uh, produce my video, put it on YouTube, and that's it. There's no other labor needed to it. So when companies started working on digitalization, when people were working from home, they actually needed massive IT computers and they started purchasing a lot of those long distance calling systems like Zoom, etc. So those actually probably gain business. But for most people out there, and you can read this in the news, you realize for restaurants, for uh, car makers and all the old economy that I call uh, things actually slowed down tremendously. So the need started to drop. People were working from home. So uh, that's a major, major shift. So in terms of work opportunities, of course, that's going to affect uh, everything, including Switzerland, because all these jobs are no longer as needed as before. So you're going to have less of them and probably long term, you will have uh, almost none. So you have to realize that you really have to realize that it's not just a Swiss thing. It's actually a global thing that we are going through a shift and the shift is going to digital. So you need to get on this new shift right now. So uh, if you think, oh, my God, I have skills, but it's not really matching the market and make sure you read um, the job market in Switzerland. Make sure you check the job boards and see really what kind of positions are needed. And you will probably find if you do this exercise that it's a lot of digital jobs. 
it's probably going to be 90% online. So it's going to be a lot of IT, a lot of uh, developers, uh, web security, etc. You'll find 90% of the market is online. So if you don't have those online skills, then you have a teeny, teeny, teeny little market to work with. And within this 10%, let's say, market where they still have functional job needs like supply chain, logistics, all those HR, finance, probably you're competing with the locals that have already years of experience in the field and they have a network in Switzerland, they're known, etc. So you're really dealing with a huge uh, complexity there. So that's just to give you the, uh, the general uh, situation right now of what's going on. So the world is going digital. Switzerland is included, obviously. And the few jobs that you will find online are going to be extremely competitive because uh, people who are already local in that market, have their network, they will probably get those jobs first. So then you will say what to do then. So I will give you three tips on what to do to uh, tap into the Swiss market as, uh, as a newcomer or someone wants to live there. So the first thing you need to do is to realize what are some of the skills that I need to gain now to have access to, to this new uh, market where the jobs will be. And that's actually not just for Switzerland, it's for any market that you want to actually grow into and grow your career at this stage, you need to jump on the digital market. So you have to get a job or to um, well, first train yourself in something that there will be a need for. So again, look at those job boards and say, okay, I need to learn all these things. I need to learn either maybe the web and development and programming and all those things. So that's where you need to be uh, to grow your career. Otherwise, you won't find that many options. So really get on the digital train, you know, start embracing it right now. Find a job within digital that you like. So again, there's a huge realm of jobs. It doesn't have to be development or programming, but... I would say there's enough positions there or enough to work with that you can probably find something. There's also the whole marketing side of digital. There's uh, personal branding, which I really like, by the way, online, networking online as well. So there's lots of things that people can tap into, graphic design, web design, etc. So try to look at those. Try to maybe, especially if you're not up, if you're up until, I would say, mid-career, this is the time to do a shift. Maybe if you're a couple of years from retirement, which usually it's not really the type of people watch my channel anyways. Uh, but most of you, if you're still in the young market, you know, shift now, do the shift now and you won't regret it because the more time moves forward, the less jobs you will find in the functional areas. This old market that I call, you know, where you used to work in big companies and you had uh, big teams and you had analysts and you had assistants and you had assistants of assistants. All this is gone because you have systems now. So everything that used to be done by 10 people, 50 people, now it's done by a machine. And, you know, if you look at Amazon, for example, it's already heavily automated and there will probably be more. And even with maybe uh, to, to bring the package to your home, that will be also done maybe with um, new prototypes, you know, of uh, shipping you with drones or something like that. So it's going this way, whether we like it or we don't like it, it's definitely going this way. The jobs that will be on the market will be highly technical, highly digital. So you have to go that route if you want to have a chance, not only in Switzerland, but everywhere else. So that's the tip number one. Uh, the second thing is that if you're an expat, if you're in a country right now, this is not the best time to consider relocation. And again, I made a promise to myself that in this channel, I will say the truth and nothing but the truth. So I'm not there to, uh, you know, be popular or, you know, have people say, well, you know, she's telling me everything I want to hear because I think that's deception. I want to tell people the way it is. So the way it is right now is that even though it's not enjoyable, to, to know this is that it's better to stay in your country, see a little bit what's happening, look at what's going to happen in the next months. We don't know yet. There's lots of uncertainty. So rather than to, to be the type of person to say, yeah, come to Switzerland and you know this is great and everything, and then to have you there without a job in dire straits, this is not really the way I look at things. So I prefer people uh, really make a conscious decision before they come. And by the time they contact me, usually, you know, they're in Switzerland, there's, you know, bills to be paid. And if you don't have a job, it can be really, really difficult. 
So really stay where you are and observe a little bit what's going to happen within the next month, you know, and to see if you need to maybe retrain in something else, you know, what is the market going to be like at the end of the year? Who knows? I mean, right now it's moving very fast. So do a bit more observation of the Swiss market and your market where you are right now to understand a little bit more what you're dealing with, you know, because again, it's, uh, it's, it's a very changing time right now. So observation and looking at the Swiss market. And the third thing that you can do to prepare yourself for better times is uh, the two things is really to learn the one of the local languages. So you can learn French or Swiss German. That's always going to enhance your application. And the other thing that you can do as well is to look at your current companies where you are in your local market to see if uh, you can maybe find a job there, which is always much easier because you don't have a Swiss permit issue to then relocate later. So I would look at it as a maybe do it in two or three different times. So first you find a job in your local market. Second, you look at uh, growing your career with this employer for maybe a couple of years and then maybe there's a job that opens up in Switzerland because going straight to Switzerland, you're not going to have the best possible options unless you already maybe you already live in Switzerland, you already have a work permit, then that's a different situation. But people who are not in Switzerland right now, you're not going to be prioritized. Probably you will have language uh, difficulties and probably your no employer is going to make a permit for you because it's just too, too much uh difficulty to actually go through the file and uh, just be aware that to apply for a work permit for an individual you need to show certain criteria and some of these criteria is definitely a manager level position at least or highly specialized so you wouldn't do this for just uh, I would say a, a junior finance person or junior logistics person you would do this for the head of the department and someone that is so specialized that you can't find anybody else on the Swiss market. So uh, there's criteria. It's not the company that's not wanting to hire globally. It's the criteria that the legal system to get a work permit uh, applies. So uh, companies can do the way they want. They have to follow a certain criteria to get the work permit. That's why they're not going there. Uh, it's not because they don't want to. It's because they can't. So the Swiss market prioritizes uh, employment for the locals and only if you can find local resources, then you would go outside. But right now, understand that with this situation, people will lose their jobs. They will be on the market. So those functional jobs like HR, uh, finance and all that, they will be already competing for those on the local market. So this is not the best time now to apply for a junior analyst position from another country because you will have tons of those people looking on uh, on the local market. So that's the end for this video. Um, just remember, you know, look at the market, see where the jobs are going and the trends are going, which again, I repeat, it's going digital right now. If you're not there yet, well, do everything that you can to be in that uh, category of people, because in a few years, that's probably all that you're going to be able to find. So right now, you still find a bit of functional jobs here and there. If you're already in Switzerland and you have a good network and you're, you're a good performer, probably you're, you're still able to find things. But for if you're outside, forget it. And in a few years, it's going to be even more complicated to even find any of these jobs, uh, even for the locals. So I'm just saying it the way I see it, uh, based on uh, research and what I see online. And um, yeah, it's definitely going digital. So just be aware of that. Take it in, you know. Uh, so again, it's more of a general video. It's not just logistics. People ask me about other type of uh, functions as well. It's all functions. So the only thing that you have left is really um you know those jobs that are highly technical and that you would do online so i hope this helps let me know if you have any questions i will talk to you soon